two, four, six. Supposedly these GTs like to break 12 weights, so I got two 12 weights. Two nine weights, a 10, an 11, and two 12 weights. My wife was like, where are you gonna go? I was like, well, they wanna take us to the Seychelles. She said, you have to do that. For Dave and Alvin and I, I mean, it's an impossibility to turn it down. It's a long history. <laughs> I've, I've known those guys since sometime in the like early to mid 90s. JT, Alvin and I, I first got to know them when they worked at Austin Angler in the local fly shop. You know, I was uh, fly fishing crazy, just like they were, but we didn't really know each other yet. We pretty much hit it off right, you know, like immediately we went to the coast, caught some fish on our first trip, stayed up all night, woke up the next morning, the stereo still blasting bad brains. We just jump up and run out and start fishing again. It was like this, this hub of fly fishing in a very unlikely space, which was Texas at the time. We all kind of separated and went our separate paths and many years later through fishing we kind of got back together got the band back together. I'm gonna say it's been at least a decade since we've been been able to spend that much time just kind of just the three of us together maybe two decades yeah so <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking about some of the stuff we were doing two decades ago I'm like well we won't be doing any of that this time but <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmo to copy Cosmo. What would I feel like if I was on a shipwreck and I landed on Cosmo and I'd be like, dude, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. It is a absolute wonderland for a fisherman. Fuck you. <laughs> Triggerfish, bonefish. Bluefin Trevally, the GT of course, which is kind of the top predator. See him behind the stingray, yeah. It's insane. I'd say one of the fastest fish in shallow water oh, I've shit. ever witnessed. Ulua, as they call them in Hawaii, which actually means the man of the sea. When they used to have to do sacrifices, they could catch two GT and sacrifice those. They have just a tremendous reputation as a, like they kill sharks, they're just super aggressive. <laughs> Here's a GT on the right. You have seconds to put the fly yeah. in proximity, and then you immediately Jump. have to start Jump. stripping. They just come like a torpedo and just smash it. I've never experienced a fish like that. I don't think no redfish are going to do that. Thank you, Cosmo, my man. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's really cool. Come here, Alvin. You know, a group of guys can tend to be fairly competitive. Dave and JT are pretty, uh, pretty strong personalities. JT, though, get big one. No, he's got the super grand slam right now. Firm? Yep. No way. <laughs> We pursued our passion and love for fly fishing individually. We just stuck to the thing that we love most, but we've always remained friends. And after years and years of hard work, it's paid off to the point where we're celebrated and honored to take a trip like this with each other. 